More details about Lauren's battle at uh, Children's Hospital today and why the girl who has weeks to live is fighting so hard for people to know about the unacceptable funding for pediatric cancer. The MRI that Lauren had last Friday, it wasn't scheduled. She volunteered so doctors could have a measuring point of that tumor that has now grown from 34 millimeters to 52 between the scans. It's growing right on her brain stem and the roots spreading down her spine. They see up to about 150 cases of this cancer. It's called DIPG nationally every year. And pediatric funding from the government gets four cents on every dollar. Four cents. Dr. DeWire talked about what the phenomenon of the Lauren Hill story is doing for their fight. She has started a movement to number one, increase awareness and increase the need to move clinical trials quickly and increase funding in order for us to be able to perform research and develop these clinical trials. Do you have a hope, a belief on her ability to take the floor on November 2nd? She will rock it on November 2nd. It's that simple? Absolutely. She'll rock it. The hope is the steroid's gonna keep Lauren strong enough to take the court on Sunday, November 2nd. Her tour schedule continues though. She's in Indianapolis tonight for an appearance in the morning. Then they'll drive back to Mount St. Joe's football game tomorrow afternoon, toss the coin. And knowing Lauren and the family, they'll probably have a few surprises before the weekend is out.